Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel here. It's Ryan and Aaron with Dream It, Do It Travels. We just want to invite you along to hang out with us today at Disney Springs. We're going to check out Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar and Gideon's. This is the outside of the Hangar Bar here. It's very themed and cool place to hang out. But before we do that, we're going to head on over to Gideon's and join the virtual queue so we can get our cookies. If you do plan to visit Gideon's Bakehouse, you'll want to locate the sign where you can give them your cell phone number and they'll text you when it's your turn to come back. Now that we've signed up for the virtual queue, we're going to head inside the hangar bar here at Jock Lindsay's and grab a bite to eat. We didn't have reservations, we just did a walk up and they took us right away. The indoor seating here in this establishment is not very large, so if you do want to eat here, you might want to make a reservation. The atmosphere in here is fun, and it does feel like you stepped onto a set for Indiana Jones. If you're interested, they do offer a happy hour Monday through Friday from noon to 3 p.m. my drink it was light and fruity the main flavor being pineapple you don't have to purchase the souvenir mug if you're not interested you can get it by itself for just $14 and now we are going to get ready to try our appetizers these are the al pastor tacos it's citrus chipotle pork belly pineapple pico de gallo red cabbage on grilled corn tortillas Gourmet beef sliders with tomato, bacon, jam, house made pickles, shredded lettuce, and cheese. And these are the adobo chicken tacos, adobo braised chicken, pico de gallo, queso fresco, lime crema, jalapeno, red cabbage, and a grilled corn tortilla. Well, we just finished dinner, and it is important to know that they are no longer accepting artifacts as forms of payment. diving bell that you can eat in. It got a booth made inside of it. If you head outside there's a lot more seating and there's this boat that overlooks the water. Overall I think this is a really neat themed place that you can come grab a snack, grab a drink, hang out with friends and relax by the water. Hey guys so we just finished up dinner at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Everything was pretty good. I think our favorite was the El Pastor tacos, which we originally weren't even gonna get. It was a last minute decision, but I think that ended up being our favorite item. And the theming in there was like really cool. If you're into Indiana Jones, you're gonna love that place. If you're ever out at Disney Springs, recommend uh, the Hangar Bar. Go check it out. 
so it's been almost four hours. We received our text that we can return and get in line to enter Gideon's. take this haul home and then we'll try it back at our hotel room and let you know what we think okay so we're back in our room now and we are going to show you guys what we got at Gideon's this is their little menu card here so we went with the original chocolate chip cookie the cookies and cream cookie and the triple chocolate and then we also decided to try one of the cake slices it's the double frosted red velvet so we're just gonna show that to you guys here So it looks like three layers of red velvet cake and basically equal parts of cream cheese frosting there. And it also looks like there are walnuts on the uh, outside there, like crusted on the outside. This is Gideon's original chocolate chip cookie. It's the foundation of the business that they are. They say that this recipe took them 15 years to perfect and it's filled with history. It's packed inside and out with chocolate chips. It's got several different vanillas and it's a texture that they say will make you think that you're eating cookie dough. And they did say that these cookies do take 24 hours to make, so it is something special and they each weigh right around a half pound. Okay, and this one here looks a little bit different. This is their cookies and cream and they say that this is their cult cookie, that everybody that has it, they want somebody else to obsess over it with them. And it's supposed to remind you of a cookies and cream milkshake. And it starts with a vanilla bean cookie dough filled with chunks of hand cut double stuffed cookies. So first we have the triple chocolate chip and it says that it's actually five kinds of chocolate um, containing fancy Calabot and Ghirardelli chocolates to name it just a couple. And it's extra velvety because they pour ganache straight into the cookie dough when they're mixing it. All right, Ryan, so what did you think of everything? Very sweet, um, very filling, and there's no way we can finish all this. Um, surprisingly, the cake was not as sweet as I thought it would be. Um, that was interesting. Yeah, um, I think when you think of you know double frosted and there's like almost as much frosting as there is cake that it would be super rich and overpowering but it was it was actually very well balanced it was very good i've enjoyed that a lot okay so out of the three cookies that we tried what was your favorite right probably this one um the cookies and cream yeah it i'm a huge chocolate lover but i don't know that one it just it seemed like it was real creamy and I don't know, I, I enjoyed that one. Yeah, it, it does remind you of dipping cookies in milk. It really does give you that feeling. I really liked that one. The classic chocolate chip, 
I thought was really good if you really like a lot of chocolate chips. And then the triple chocolate, when they say they put the ganache into the batter, you can tell. It almost comes out like fudgy. So, I don't know. I thought they were all really good. The cookies are very rich. You know, they're like I said, they're like a half pound each. You couldn't sit and eat that whole cookie at once. They're definitely shareable. You know, the price is not outrageous. We did have a moment to speak to the owner yesterday, and he told us he tries to keep the costs down. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more about uh, what he was talking to with us? Yeah, he said that he started this business with $800, and he said that he was in college. And over the years, he's just perfected it, and he's poured his heart and soul into this business, and um, it's obviously doing well. Uh, kudos to him I he's right there isn't a cookie in there that you could go wrong with they're all good um, I mean obviously we haven't tried them all but the three that we have right here I would recommend to anybody yeah and he was just a super nice guy he said you know it's just him and his two cats and and this is like you know this is his dream and you know he was really glad that you know Disney picked him up and you know it He's standing out there on a Saturday night greeting customers coming into the business. I just thought that was awesome. So, Yeah, everybody who got to the front of the line got to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. I thought that was pretty cool. You yeah. don't see that very often. Yeah. So we're glad that you guys got to uh, check out Gideon's with us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And ring that notification bell. Keeps you notified of future uploads. Remember, if you, you can, can dream, dream it, it, you can, can do it. it.